Hello and welcome to the Heat Signature Daily Challenge. It is the 15th of June and a challenge Saturday. Today we are stealing three parts of the Clapet experiment while killing as few people as possible. We are frail, so we'll try not to get shot. Supplier, doesn't really matter. X glitcher, that could be useful. We do got a visitor. We got con cameras, self-charging, self high capacity slipstreams, streams, which is amazing, and visitors. There's no bash dashing today and no infinite slipstream, but five uses of slipstream should be all that we need. Let's go. I'm probably going to try and save the visitors for ship three. Because slipstream means that we can use the same visitor multiple times. And that is most useful on ship three. Let's see, try not to kill people. That shouldn't be too difficult. Early three seconds, very nice. All right, so grab key. This is a little sketch, but probably fine. Maybe, uh, yeah, it's probably fine. And then ew, we need this key. Oh, we got scrambler gates. <clears throat> Crate over here, but it's far away. So I think both this way and this way are equally not great. I might actually go down because then we'll lose the slipstream when we pass through here and that'll fling us down this long hallway. And then we can grab that, go over here, fling, and then we go on here, get this key, okay. Yeah, the visitor is tempting here so that we don't have to go all the way around here. We will have a gun so we can knock out this fuel barrel for a quick escape. If I didn't have to worry about them dying, then it could blow up both of these and then this would separate and that would be funny. All right, I do need to go a little fast. I am on a time limit today. Oop. Do I care about the alarm? It could technically be an issue. So I'll just smack these people and run. I'm not entirely sure if this is the correct one. Maybe I should have gone down this way and then we could get flung. Eh, it's, it's close. We'll see. Uh, we can just visit right here. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, it'll probably save time. But visitor's very useful on ship three. I'm gonna save, I'm gonna save. Give you a little toss, a little bonk, get this angle, there we go. And once we're in through here, we activate slipstream again, pick that back up. Run down here, go whoop. Run up here. Get this fired. I think they won't react to that gunshot because they're already reacting to something. I'm gonna go up through here to not go super fast. All right, it's also a Sunday or Saturday, so we can't use whatever this is. And then we walk, and then we slipstream, and then we toss ourselves out and hope that we don't go into the other one, which is what happened. All 
All right, there we go. Ship one done in about five minutes. That's a good starting pace. Okay, next. Got guns with glitch dashes, so easy keys at the very least. Take guns, cause why not? Okay. Let's see. I didn't actually internalize what my time was on that last one. I think, I feel like it's probably the correct play to not use the visitor. I'm gonna leave some of these behind. Okay, we can go out of our way to get these crates. That seems pretty decent. Now, if we go a little bit this way, we can shoot to get your key. And then we don't even need a key to get this one. Uh, going down here is a little out of the way and then a little out of the way. So yeah, I'm gonna go here, get the stuff. And keep going. We don't see a need for a visitor on this one. Yeah, nope. Alright, slightly worried about them shooting each other. So I'm gonna do a couple of tosses of the hammer. Do I care about reinforcements? No. All right, and then once that's two of them, they can't shoot each other. There was a technically a risk there of one of the guns flying off and then shooting them, and that was a poor slipstream end. Oh well. Ooh, concussive, nice. Subverter, very nice. Okay, that's. Subverter plus Visitor plus Slipstream. Ooh, that is a good, that is a good. We got good tools here. We can use this for ultra safety, so you don't have to shoot at walls anymore. I have the chance of getting the target immediately. I'll still shoot you in case you have a thing, you don't have a thing. All right, get flung, ride that momentum a little bit, slipstream, grab, it's a thing, and then we just run out the window. I want them to not be anywhere near the window while I go over here and shoot. And I'm just shooting because it gives me a tiny bit more time to get the pod in place. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Good thing matching speed with yourself is so fast. All right, Whew. that was a little close on the pickup. All right, 11 seconds, I will take that. And for ship three, we have armor. That's fine. Heat sensors, emergency shields, that's all fine as long as... Yeah, emergency shields, armor means they're less likely to shoot each other. Lethally. Got tracker, jammer, lots of guards. Yeah, this seems fine. This seems fine. Okay, going for that locked door. That is a small section. We got a couple of small, a few small sections here. Quite a few small sections here, huh? All right, so yeah, this is like subvert or visit. And then like visit, 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 grab. Either get pulled back to here or leave. And if those, any of those don't quite work out, then we've got the subverter instead. I don't know if this is the right angle, but oh well. Yeah, not a great angle, but not bad. If we can land this. Okay. 
So key's right here, so I think I might as well subvert, grab. And then probably start the visit here, because I won't have this key. Visit, steal. Bloop. Subvert, subvert. I want, might want to subvert there. I might want to visit out. We'll play it by ear. Yeah, this is a good starting subvert. And if any of them shoot, they'll hit shielded or armored targets. Crate is mildly tempting, but I don't need it. I could use another subverter. Hmm, I'm not sure which one's best here. Subvert leaves me with one more subvert. And that gets me to here, which does let me visit, visit, visit. I like I like saving all those visits for the end, I think. Do that, use another one of these, and that does leave me with one extra subverter if I need it. Put up your shield, thank you very much. Alright, so they should be protected unless they shoot the fuel barrel, which would be a little awkward. But I think should be safe from that. Maybe I start the <laughs> visit here. Oh, I forgot about X Glitcher, that's right. Okay, so we should have done visitors earlier because I forgot about X Glitcher. Um, we can just wait for the next visit right here. So we're just going to do that uh, and get the pod in place. Nope, I need to activate Slipstream again because that's how we get the visitor back faster. And there's that. And I can either wait for the visitor again or I can run down here. If I run down here, they're going to see me and the visitor's active, so the ship's going to stay loaded, so they'll walk out. So we need to wait here. Um, what we can do is walk up here. And then just get in full range of the pod, and look, it's already here. Boop. And off we go. For 10 seconds? 10 seconds. All right. Yeah. That was some good visiting. Yeah, should have started using them a little earlier, because I forgot about X Glitcher. But that was still good uses of them. And that's that. Yeah, that felt pretty strong. We got good items from the crates that we went out of our way for. And... Yeah. That was good. Feel good about ship three. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was very, very good. Ah, oh, but 7-2 still beat us by one second. No! So close, and yet so far. Eh. Very close. I imagine we had similar runs. I imagine. Well, was it ship 1 or ship 2 that I blew out the side of the ship? I think that was ship 2. That one I could potentially see going differently. Uh, I guess there was also the option of using one of the visitors on ship one. That would have saved some time. Possibly more than... Hmm. Using a visitor on ship one may have saved more time than that visitor you saved on ship three. So that could also be the thing. Could just be different docking speeds, better catch times and such. Um. But yeah. So close. Yeah, so far. Yesterday... 
7-2 takes the lead with 28 seconds and a 5.99, also beating me by one second twice in a row. Um, very nice job though. We have me coming in second, Cassandra in third, Lee Spork in fourth, and Razdal Batster in fifth place, making up the top five. Very nice job, everybody there. And with that, that is all for today's daily challenge. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you tomorrow.